In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Sage50 account system ready to connect to Power BI via Santico. There are four things to do. Firstly, you need to check the version of Sage50 accounts that you are running. You need to be on version 23 or higher. You need to check your Sage base data path so that we can point the connector to the right place. You will need to set up the Santico BI connector as a user in Sage50. And finally, enable your Sage50 account system for third-party integration. When you have done this, and it only takes a few minutes, your Sage50 accounts is all set for connection to Power BI. So the easiest way to check the version of Sage50 accounts that you are running and your Sage-based data path is to open Sage50 accounts and look at the Select Company dialog box. Take a look at the company that you want to connect to. In this example, it is a fictitious company called Power BI. You can see the Sage version number is displayed for this company. In this case, it is version 23. If it is version 23 or higher, that's good and you don't need to do anything. If it's less than version 23, you'll need to upgrade your Sage 50 system. Now check the Sage based data path. The default setting for Sage 50 accounts is the same as I show here. That is C, Program Data, Sage, Accounts, 2017. If you're using the default settings in Sage and you have this same data path, you don't need to do anything. But if your path is something else, please make a note of it because you will need this later to point the connector to the right place. Now continue to log in to Sage50 accounts, selecting the company that you wish to connect to Power BI. The next thing you will need to do is to add the Santico BI connector as a Sage user. To do this, go to Settings, Access Rights, and choose to add a user. You can call this user whatever you want, of course, but in this example, I've called the user Santico and given the user a password, Santico. It is important not to use special characters in this password, like exclamation marks or brackets or ampersands. You will need to remember this username and password for later when you come to install the Santico BI connector software. The last thing to do to prepare your Sage50 accounts for connectivity to Power BI is to activate third-party integration. You may have already done this, of course, for other third-party software, and if you have, you don't need to do this step. In the Sage50 Accounts menu, go to Tools, Activation, Enable Third-Party Integration. You will be asked for a serial number and an activation key. You can simply Google this to find the right information, but for Sage50 Accounts version 23, I can tell you what it is. The serial number for third-party integration is Sage SDO, that is S-A-G-E-S-D-O, and the activation key is RCYLSWK. Enter these codes and continue. Your Sage50 account system is now ready and you can connect to Power BI via Santico. In the next video, I will show you how you can set up your Santico trial account.